It'll be Africana. This is the pattern for this um, sleeve. It's very simple. Do it. It looks, um, it looks gorgeous. I must say. So this is my pattern paper that that, that, I, that I have here now. Then I'm going to fold at an angle. You know. This is my fold. Um, I'm doing a straight line here. Of course, this is the wise thing. Uh, the wise thing to do here is to sort of sort of go up in little bits and and cut and, and cut. Why am I going up a little? Because this is on the bias, so it's going to sort of stretch a bit. So I've gone up a bit. I've gone up like half inch. So the nice thing is the length from here to here. This is how I'm going to take it. I'm actually using the length of my paper here. So if I put my tape. I think um, this is about 17 inches and I'm good with that. So I'm just going to mark another 17 inches here. So let me do another 17 inches here. So um, I can either do 17 or 18 inches. Let me do 18. You know, this is going to be the center of my sleeve. It's going to be a little bit longer, which is very okay. So I'm just um, going like this, going like this. So this is my uh, sleeve now. Now I actually need two here. After this, I'm going to now. This is this is this. Then this is on the bias now. My small. I think I want straight green. So this is um, this being the length of my sleeve. Then my smaller one is like um, here. My smaller one is. Let me use a tape to show you what I mean. My smaller one is 8 inches. Now, I'm going to sew half, half. I'm, I'll end up having 7 inches. Okay, I think um, mm, I think this is good. So, I'm just going to move a straight line. This is the inner one that's going to hold the bigger one to shape. This, this, uh, this is basically... Um, um, this is basically the patterns that, that, that I need. The only thing that I'm thinking here is, um, mm, 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 it's eight. It's eight, okay, it's eight, okay. I think this is it. Okay, um, I'm looking at it and I'm thinking that maybe I should, let me go down one inch. So I end up having, I'm going down one inch because this is going to drop um, 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 here. You know, so so I have seven inches. After which I'm going to have six inches. I think I'm comfortable with six inches. So this is what I have now. This is my pattern. Now I'm going to cut out of fabric. This is one sleeve. This is one. This is the underlay. This can be a. See what um, we've done now. We've cut. We've cut this. We've cut this. I tried. I had it done, so I tried to use for my underlay. So this is it. Then the next thing we're going to need is this. Now, I'm using, this is a, a medium strength net. Now, I'm using this because my fabric is very light. So, I need to be able to give it, um, to give it strength to stay. Now, if my fabric is, was stronger, I would have used um, a net that's sort of a bit lighter. So, um, um, if you don't give it, um, you don't give it support, it's not going to be able to stay. You know, so this is very key. So I'm going to cut out. I'm I'm using this leaf, this pattern to cut out this neck exactly, and then we we'll start sewing. Now let's sew. This is my net. This is um, the, the fabric. The, the thing is, the first thing to do is I'm I'm putting this and this together. You sew. You know, after you sew, the next thing you're going to do is to um, gather it together. So see, we're going to use this now to close the smaller part. So this is bigger, so we'll gather it and use it to close this. Let's see, do that. Sew it like this. So the next nice thing to do now is to pull this up here. And then you end up just a sort of gathering it. By the time you finish, see how this is. So you gather this and so this 